In this short video tutorial, I'm going to take you through the process of embedding YouTube Shorts videos into your WordPress website. Now you can see on screen here on this web page that I've set up, I've got five different columns with YouTube short videos embedded here, and then I've got three above. These ones above are 16 by nine, but I've gone one step further and changed these so that they're displayed and look much nicer as YouTube Shorts. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Elementor, but if you are using another WordPress site builder, it doesn't matter, the process is exactly the same. So let me show you how you can embed your YouTube Shorts into your web page. First of all, I'm just gonna create another new section here. I'll just go for two columns. And because I'm using Elementor, I'm gonna to stick to using the standard video element that we have here. So let me just drag a couple of these in. So we'll put them into each of those particular columns. Now, by default, it will give you a YouTube video as a placeholder. You see the URL is displayed here, but we're going to replace that with the URL for the video that we want to embed. Now, normally on YouTube, what you would do is you would open up the channel, you would locate the video. So let's say, for example, this one here. And then what we would do is we would copy the URL at the top, or we would go into share and perhaps grab this one here. So if I just copy that one, I'll head back to my web page just paste it into this box and you'll see that video has been embedded. So that's perfect. When we're working with shorts, however, if I go back to my YouTube channel, click on shorts at the top here, if I was to follow the same method, so let me just open up this short here and what I'm going to do is, I'll just pause it just now. If I was to copy this URL from the top here and then go back into my WordPress site open up the editing options for this video and paste that URL in here, you'll see that the video doesn't appear. So we've just used the exact same method we use for normal videos, but with the short, it hasn't actually appeared. So how can we get that to appear? Well, there's two different ways we can do this. The first method is if you've used the method I've just shown you by simply copying the URL for the short video at the top from the address bar, when you paste it into here, you'll see the difference. So this one here is youtube.com forward slash shorts, whereas this video is a slightly different URL. Now what will happen with a shorts video is it will include this bit that says shorts, whereas a standard YouTube video, if you just copy the URL from the address bar, will have something that says watch question mark V equals. So what we can actually do is we can come in here and where it says shorts, we can replace that with watch question mark V and equals, and then you'll see the video now appear. So we have the shorts video embedded here. That's one way of grabbing the code, but the other way you can do it, if I just quickly remove the code from here, is on your shorts video, you can simply right click once you've opened it up and then use this copy video URL option. Now, if I go back in and paste that one in, it basically allows me to display the video as it has with the first video here. So essentially it puts that, that information into the URL and it works. So that's how you can embed a YouTube Shorts video into your website. But if you want to display them like I have here, you need to change the aspect ratio. So Shorts traditionally are portrait, so they're nine by 16, whereas standard YouTube videos will be landscape of 16 by nine. So what I've done here is I've simply gone into the editing options for the video element. I've then gone into style, and then I've changed the aspect ratio from 16 by nine, I've changed that to nine by 16. And what that will then do is it will display it in portrait. Now at this point, well, you might need to add a couple more videos to help break it out like I've got here. So by adding more columns, we've made each video a little bit smaller. So you'll see here, if I was to insert another column, then that video will get a little bit smaller. And if I add another one, it'll be even smaller. So if you're looking to lay your shorts videos out on your page and make them look a little bit nicer, make sure you change the aspect ratio like I have done here. They'll still play fine if you leave them as 16 by nine, like here, but it just looks a little bit nicer if you're embedding them on your page and you display them in the correct aspect ratio that YouTube has them in. Anyway, I hope you have found this video tutorial to be useful. If you have, please do hit that like button, comment below to let me know what you thought of the tutorial or if you have any questions. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button to help show your support. Thanks again for watching.